Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I'm going to paint for you, or draw and paint, one of my favourite little birds. Uh, they're called the Superb Fairy Wren. We have three little families of these living in our garden beds out the front and in our backyard. Um, we're lucky enough that uh, we have a bit of bit of space around us. So yeah, lots of gardens around the house. And these little guys and girls live there and have their little chicks and bounce around and are absolutely adorable. <laughs> so I just felt inspired to paint one of these gorgeous little birds today. So now I'm adding cerulean blue to all the light blue areas. These birds are very vibrant blue. So yeah, I'll pop in cerulean blue as the base color. So now I start to add uh, slightly more pigment, less water. So it's exactly the same colour, just more pigment, less water. And I take that around the first layer. I add a second layer and I start to build up, getting slightly darker each layer. Now I make up a grey or a very greyish brown. Uh, I like to mix up my own dark colours. So this is burnt umber. I added um, some indigo blue to make a really dark, almost black grey. And then I dilute it down. I take it around all the areas on his body that have got this darkest colour. And I've got a little bit on the paper, so I just carefully wash that off. So I just got a clean brush and just scrubbed that and then I could lift it straight off the paper. So same as the blue, I start with the lightest value and then I'll use the same colours, just more pigment, less water and build up the darker layers um, across his head and body and wings. Now to the warmer areas of his body, I add uh, some transparent sienna and a little bit of burnt umber as well as I go on and I start to build up his wing colours. And then I will darken um, the dark areas on his body, the black areas, which are a dark blue black. So I mix up some more of the same pigment that I made earlier, just incredibly thick and it looks much, much darker.
So now I start to add some feather texture in over the top of all the pale washes and it starts to get a little bit more detailed. So I'm using a little bit of cobalt blue in amongst this just to add a darker tone. Now I add some feathery textures and shadow areas to his belly. So I use the same brownie grey that I mixed up earlier um, on the very underside of his belly. And then I add some grey tones and some purple tones to the shadow areas. I'm adding some feather detail now, just defining the long feathers along his wings a little bit more and I'll build up some more detail across the whole little bird. For the little stem that he's sitting on, I wet the paper and work wet in wet and just drop a few different browns um, just to create the woody texture. So that'll flow while the paper's wet, that just flows around and creates its own wonderful little patterns. And then I add a shadow colour to the bottom of the branch. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'd love it if you click like and subscribe and click on the bell icon. That way you'll be notified when I release a new video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll catch you next video. Okie doke. Bye.